Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm really sorry for this long delay. I was in another class, but now I'm here with you. Okay, so we are going to begin with a review. Good what evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. A little bit cold. Cold? Yes. Very cold. Yeah, it's really cold today. Cold. And have you drunk coffee or chocolate? Milk. Milk? Okay. Milk. Perfect. Okay. Um, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Can you tell me? Um, about the adverbs of frequency. Adverb of frequency. Okay, perfect. And what adverb of frequency did we study? Um, it's, uh, I don't know, hard. Hardly ever. Okay, hardly ever. Well, always, sometimes, usually, usually generally, usually, normally, occasionally, often, frequently, sometimes, frequently. Okay, perfect. So this is what we are going to do right now. I have, let me see, 11 of you. Um, I need you to pay attention to what your classmates are going to say. I need a real sentence about you, okay? So for example, uh, Stephanie is the first one that I can see on my screen. She's going to tell us a sentence using a frequency ad, okay? So for example, she can say, I never drink coffee. Then Giselle, because she's the second one that I have, is going to tell us Stephanie never drinks coffee and she's going to say a sentence about her I uh, usually exercise for example then Jocelyn is going to tell us Stephanie and Giselle sentence and is going to tell us her sentence as well then Edwin is going to tell us Stephanie's Giselle and Jocelyn sentence Y nos va a decir la de él. Yes? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Es así como una cadenita de, de oraciones, ¿verdad? Using frequency adverbs. No quiero que vayan a estar anotando o que las vayan a escribir. Necesito ver qué tan buena memoria tenemos. ¿Ok? Yes? Are you ready? Ready. Ok. Va. El orden. Que vamos a seguir es el que yo tengo ahorita en la pantalla, porque si empiezo a saltarme, después no voy a saber quién va o quién participó y quién no. Tengo primero a Stephanie, luego tengo a Giselle, Jocelyn Marroquín, Edwin. Ok, comienzo okay. con ustedes cuatro y de ahí voy a ir diciendo sus nombres. So let's begin. Yo, uh, sorry, Stephanie. Yes, uh, good evening. Uh, well. In my case, to say I drink chocolate. But, pero es usando un adverbio ah, de frecuencia. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, <laughs> I always in cold day drink coffee. Okay. In a cold day. Okay. In a cold day, I always drink coffee. Okay, Giselle. Good evening, um, Stephanie. Uh, Here's in a cold day, always drink coffee. She always is always drink coffee. Drink or chocolate. <laughs> Aha! Did she say chocolate <laughs> or coffee? Mm. Chocolate. Okay, so again. And I always take a shower. 
Ok, va, dígame otra vez la oración de Stephanie y la suya. Ok. Eh, in a cold day, her. Eh, sí. Sí, sí. Um, drinks chocolate. ¿Le faltó el adverbio? Oh, ok. Eh, ok. In a cold day, she always drinks chocolate. Perfect. <laughs> And I always uh, take a shower. Perfect. Jocelyn. Jocelyn Marroquín. Good evening. Um, <laughs> it's the, um, she, the yes, Stephanie. <laughs> I know you very old. She drinks. Le falta el adverbio. Hola. <laughs> She one drink. <laughs> in a cold day. Uh, she in a cold day drink chocolate. ¿Y el adverbio dónde quedó? I she always in a cold drink chocolate. Okay, and Giselle? Giselle. I'll always take a shower. Take? <laughs> take a shower. Okay, and yours? I sometimes drink green tea. Green okay. Tea. Green tea? Tea. Okay, excellent. Edwin? Um, in a cool day, Stephanie always uh, drinks chocolate. Okay. Uh, Giselle always take a, takes a shower. Okay. Jocelyn uh, sometimes takes green tea. Drinks? Drinks tea. Green tea. Okay. And yours? And I never drink... Uh, Milk. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Verónica Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Can you tell us your classmates' sentences, please? Um, I never watch TV. No, you're going to tell us Stephanie, Giselle, Jocelyn and Edwin's sentences. Nos va a decir primero la oración de Stephanie, luego la de Giselle, luego la de Jocelyn, después la de Edwin y por último va a agregar la suya. Después uh -huh. Susana nos va a decir Stephanie, Giselle, Jocelyn, Edwin y la suya más la de ella. Y así sucesivamente hasta llegar a Walter. Stephanie uh, always okay. drink chocolate. Okay. Giselle always take a shower. Takes takes a shower. Okay. Jocelyn uh, sometimes. Okay. Date. No drink. Uh, drink tea. Green tea. Green tea. Drink okay. Tea. En Edwin, eh, he never milk. He never milk. Drink, drink milk. Drinks milk. Okay. Thank you. And en yours? Mi, en me, I never watch TV. Perfect. Susan. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Um, Stephanie. Always uh, drink chocolate. Okay. Um, Jocelyn? No, Giselle. Giselle. Um, always um, 
drink. Ah, no, she said uh, that she. Um, um, <laughs> so, for example, you, you are like this and then like this. Um, <laughs> Giselle, uh -huh. yes, can you tell your sentence one more time, please? I always take a shower. Okay, uh, take a shower. Uh, Yes, uh, she uh, takes a shower. You're missing the frequency adverb. Uh, always. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, she always takes a shower. Okay. Um, usually, uh, always during Tea. Drink. Tea. Okay. Um, Walter. Edwin. 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 Uh, he never uh, drink milk. Drinks milk. Okay. Um, Veronica. She. Never watch TV. Watches. Um, me. Um, usually, I usually uh, drink coffee. Okay, thank you. Sandra Vasquez, you're next. Okay. Um, the first one say she always drinks coffee okay. in a cold day. Second one, she always takes a shower. Uh, the third one, she sometimes drinks green tea. Okay, right. Edwin, I think. He never drinks milk. Okay. Veronica, she never watches TV. Susan, she usually drinks coffee. Okay. And me, I never do exercise. Okay, perfect. Alejandra. <laughs> Ale? Ale, can you hear me? Okay, so we're going with Janet. Okay. Um, Stephanie, she drinks chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, Giselle, she always takes a shower. Take. Takes a shower. Jocelyn always drinks tea. And Edwin, he never drinks milk. Drinks. Drinks milk. Um, Veronica, she never watches TV. Watches. Watches TV. Susan, she usually drinks coffee. Okay. And me. Uh -uh, you're missing Sandra. I. Mm, no le escuché, teacher. Okay, Sandra, can you say your sentence one more time, please? 
Okay. I never do exercise. Okay. Uh, she never, she never exercise. Does? Does exercise. Okay, and yours? Um, I always sleep every... I always sleep? Every, every, every night. Every night. Okay, thank you. Jocelyn. Jocelyn Larin. Oh, okay. Jennifer, in a cold day, always drinks coffee. Okay. Uh, Giselle, she always takes a shower. Take. Next, the third. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Mm, I don't know who is Jocelyn. Ah, Jocelyn. Jocelyn always drink green tea. Okay. Edwin, uh, he never, he never drinks milk. Okay. Next is Veronica. Yes. Right. Veronica. Never watch watches watch TV watches TV. Okay. Um. <laughs> the next is Sandra. No, Susan. No, Susan. She never. No, she usually drinks coffee. Um, oh, Susan, no, she never, ah, Sandra, she never does exercise. Um, Janet, the Janet, she always sleep. Sleep in the sleeps in the night. At night. At night. Okay. okay. And uh, me. No. Yeah. Continue. And me. I always sleep. Come say later. Late. Late. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Abigail. Hi, um, Stephanie always drinks chocolate in cold days. Giselle always take a shower. Jocelyn uh, sometimes drink tea. Um, let me see. Edwin never drinks milk. Okay. Veronica never watch TV. And Susan okay. usually drinks coffee. Sandra, creo que iba Sandra, o oh no? Yes. And Sandra never does exercise. And Janet always sleep at the night. At night. And at night, Jocelyn always sleep sleeps late. And I am um, sometimes I draw on the computer or in my notebook. Sometimes I. I draw. Ah, okay. I on draw the on the computer or in my notebook. Okay, thank you, Walter. Thank you. Walter.
I'm sorry, Walter, but we cannot hear you. Can you hear us? Okay, so Lily. Okay, oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> uh, okay, the first are Stephanie. Okay. Uh, she she drinks she drinks always coffee. Um, eh, luego era the Giselle. She always take a shower. Okay. Eh, Edwin. He he never drinks milk. Okay. Mm, Jocelyn. She she um. Sometimes drink tea. Drinks? Drink, drinks tea. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, Veronica. Yes, Veronica. She never. Era it. She never. She never watches TV. Okay. And. And the other, I don't remember. Susan? Susan. Susan, she usually drink coffee. Okay. Drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Sandra, she, ne she never exercised. Okay. That's the exercise. Uh, what's your? <laughs> Janet? Mm. Janet, Janet. Um, she never watches TV. Okay. Oh no. Uh uh. Hmm. Ay, no me acuerdo de. Uh, yeah. Always sleep. Uh huh. Sleep at night or okay, something like that. Mm, Jocelyn. Uh, she always sleep la late. Okay. En Abigail. Eh, she, no sé si se dice así, she drawing on, on the PC. Oh. And what was the frequency adverb? Ah, she sometimes uh -huh. drawing. Draw? Draw or drawing? No, draw. The verb is draw. Draw. Have. Draw. Ah, okay, draw. Draw on the PC. More? Personal. Ay. Or tablet. <laughs> okay. No sé cómo se No, okay. Anay no recuerdo al final. And yours? Anay. Ya lo he perdido, no lo había notado. Ay, ¿qué lo hice? Ah, sí. I, I almost always. O oh, era cierta. Almost always. Mm -hmm. I sleep at 10 o'clock. Okay, Ten. thank you. Perfect. Uh -huh. So, do I have a volunteer who can tell me all the sentences? Nope. Ya se les olvidó. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's time for feedback. Let me tell you. Let me see if I remember. So we have, in a cold day, Stephanie always drinks chocolate. Giselle always takes a shower. Jocelyn sometimes drinks green tea. Edwin 
never drinks milk. Veronica never watches TV. Uh, then I remember we have Susan. <gasps> Susan, sorry. Let me remember. Um, ah, Susan usually, usually drinks drink coffee. coffee. Sandra never does exercise. Janet, um, let me remember. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Janet, did you say I never? Always. Ah, yeah, sorry. You always go sleep. to sleep. Yeah, you always sleep at night. Jocelyn always sleeps late. Then we have Abigail, the frequency advert. I forgot it, sorry, but I remember you said that you draw on your computer or tablet, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have Lily that she always, and I forgot, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was just listening to you. Uh, something that I could notice is that when we are making use of the third person singular, some of you are forgetting the S. So, for example, if I have um, Stephanie, let me, how do you spell your name, Stephanie? Yes, E S T E F I. I know A M M J. No, Griel, ¿cómo se dice? Why? 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 Yes. Why? Okay. So we have always drinks. Chocolate. Ok, estamos hablando en tercera persona y es presente simple. Entonces tengo que agregar lo que es la S. Then we have um, Sandra. Never does exercise. Um, we have Edwin. Like this, Edwin. I never drinks. Milk. No, because it's in first person, como es en primera persona, no lleva la S. Yes, sorry, sorry. Drink. Never drink, drink milk. milk. Okay. Um, we have Jocelyn. Usually, I'm not quite sure, draws on her computer. Okay. Never drinks. We have draws. Let me see another. Ah. We have Giselle. Oops, sorry. So we have that Giselle. Always takes a shower. So you can see, since we are talking in third person, we need to add the S. Okay, como estamos hablando en tercera persona, siempre necesito lo que es la S. Is that clear for you? Yeah. Okay. Any question for this activity? No. No? Was it easy for you? Maybe. <laughs> for me, yes. Ah, excellent. Solo una, una pregunta. Ajá. Este, todas las... Eh, ay, no sé cómo se llama. Pero todos, todas tendrían que llevar ese. Sí, como o sea, son oraciones que... afirmativas. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, o sea, siempre, digamos, si pongo de, por decir, salió, o ella, to, por decirle, to, ella todos los días sale a trabajar. Ok. Digamos, la palabra works sería works. Correcto. So, she 
goes or she always works. Porque estoy hablando en presente simple y es tercera persona. So, she always works at night, for example. Um, he drives a car. Mm, Lillian drinks um, soda, for example. Sandra <laughs> watches TV. ¿Ok? Como son oraciones en tercera persona y son oraciones afirmativas, sí, siempre van a llevar lo que es esa S. ¿Ok? Ya si yo estuviese hablando de lo que son oraciones negativas, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? Doesn't. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué pasa con el doesn't? Se ocupa do cuando se habla de primera persona y el does o el doesn't cuando se habla de tercera. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, si me pongo a trabajar lo que es en la primera oración. She works at night. She doesn't. ¿Cómo me quedaría el verbo? Works. Work. Work. Work or works? Work. Works. Ah, no, no, no. Porque ya tiene el auxiliar. Ah, el auxiliar. Okay. Perfect. Sí. Ya cuando hablamos de oraciones negativas, como tengo lo que es el doesn't, este auxiliar hace que el verbo regrese a su forma normal. ¿Ok? Solamente le voy a agregar la, la S cuando son oraciones afirmativas y en tercera persona. Es decir, si hablo de él, ella o eso. ¿Ok? ¿Is that clear for you? Yes. ¿Seguro? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Ok. En preguntas es lo mismo, ¿verdad? El auxiliar. Ajá. El, el auxiliar me ayuda para no estar así, agregando la S o en el verbo. Correcto. Veamos, ¿cómo me quedaría entonces la pregunta? Si estoy hablando en tercera persona. Das. Ok, das. Does she? Does she work at night? Perfect. Ok. Como tengo lo que es el auxiliar, este auxiliar hace que el verbo siempre se mantenga en su forma normal. Ok. Aquí ya no tengo que decir that she works porque eso es incorrecto. Ok. The same would happen on the second one. La, se, la segunda oración, ¿cómo me quedaría en forma de pregunta? I have it. He drives a car. ¿Cómo me quedaría esa misma oración en forma de pregunta? Does he uh -huh. drive a car? Ok, perfect. The next one. <coughs> Does uh -huh. she drink soda? Okay. And the last one? Uh, does what does she watch TV? Okay, perfect. Bah, como tengo aquí lo que es el auxiliar das, hace que el verbo regrese a su forma normal. Ok, no vamos a estar diciendo works or drives, drinks or watches, porque eso es incorrecto. Ok. Y si se cambia el, 
Llame el tiempo. El tiempo, veamos eh, algún ejemplo. Por ejemplo, ella trabaja en la, ella trabajó en la noche. Ok, sí. ¿Cuál es el pasado de trabajar? Work. 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 How do you spell it? W O R Q Q U R W O R K K A D E D She work last night. Okay. Como este es un verbo regular, lo único que estoy haciendo es agregarle el ed. Ahora bien, la segunda, el verbo es regular o irregular. Regular. Regular. ¿Cómo me quedaría en pasado? ¿Cuál verbo? Drive. Ah, ah, no, right. ese es irregular. Ah, ok. And ¿Cuál es Drow. el pasado? How do Drow. you spell it? D R O V E. Ok. A car. Let's see. The next one. Lillian. Drunk. Drunk or drunk? Drunk. 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 Ok. Drunk. Drunk. Soda yesterday, for example. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Ahorita sí ha bajado, pero no. Sandra washed. Okay. Washed. TV. Okay. Vaya, tenemos esas entonces que están en pasado simple. Ahora bien, si yo fuese a trabajar con estas mismas oraciones, tengo que usar entonces lo que es el auxiliar en pasado simple. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? Que la was or were. Ok, ¿cuándo no? uso was o were? Was. Was el uh, tiempo pasado. No, no. Una. For person. Ajá. And were for third person. Claro, y también vos te ves de andar ahí. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero no se utiliza en todos los casos. Ok. Vaya, por ejemplo. ¿En plural y en singular? En plural y en singular. Va, permita. Voy a borrar acá. Ok, so we're talking about was and where. La, la, la okay. Was, lo vamos a utilizar cuando estoy hablando de I, pero la uno quiso para she, la U suspendió hoy a las 6 de la tarde. Ok. Como las clases me tocaba a mí, martes yo di clases normal ayer y ahora okay. no. Get me a few seconds. Pero ya suspendieron. Ok, and where I'm going to use it with you, we, and they. ¿Ok? Es decir, que el was solamente lo utilizo cuando estoy hablando en singular. Singular. Yes. Y where lo voy a utilizar cuando estoy hablando en plural, pero también tengo lo que es you, la segunda persona del singular. ¿Ok? Pero el was y where no lo utilizo en todas las ocasiones. Es decir, si yo estoy hablando en pasado y estoy usando el verbo to be, lo voy a utilizar más que todo cuando estoy hablando de estados o lo que son emociones, por decir así, nacionalidades, edades, etc. Pero si yo estoy hablando de lo que son verbos que me indican acción o movimiento, el auxiliar que yo utilizo en pasado, ¿cuál es? Sorry, repeat. 
Yes. Did no. Ah, did y en negativo sí es. Didn't. Didn't. Ah, okay, perfect. So, si yo tengo la primera oración que dice she worked last night y la quiero reescribir de manera negativa, ¿cómo me quedaría? Y grabo la clase. Y las clases en la dos. Sí. ¿no? She no didn't aquí. work at night. Ah, ok. No. She didn't work <coughs> at night. Night. Perfect. Ah, la second night. one. Tengo un cuadro. He didn't. He uh -huh. didn't drive. Drive a car. Ok. The next puedo. sentence. Ahí puedo hacer cálculos. She didn't drink soda. Okay. Soda. And the last one? He didn't. He didn't, he didn't watch TV. Okay, perfect. Okay. Si se dan cuenta, igual, acá como en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Tengo lo que es un auxiliar que hace que los verbos regresen a su forma normal. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la diferencia de estar usando el didn't con el don't o el das. O sea, yo cómo puedo valorar el desempeño. Por los tiempos. Ah, no los tiempos, si perfecto. Es decir, el das o el doesn't me indica que yo estoy hablando en qué ya tiempo. Ya no puedo hacer nada. Entonces, las parciales yo tengo en pasado. Tiempo. En pasado simple. No, el do y el das. Ah, el en do. Presente. Los auxiliares el, presentes. El pasado, perfecto. Sí, simple, simple presente. presente. Ok, y si uso lo que es el did o el didn't. En pasado. En, en pasado. Perfecto. Pasado, es decir, sí. si tengo acá estas preguntas con el das y yo las quiero reescribir pero en forma pasada, ¿la primera me quedaría? Se quedó. Aquí nadie va a Aunque sí, me lo voy a devanar. Did she work at night? Did she work at night? The second one? Did he drive a car? Did he drive a car? Perfect. The third one? Did she drink soda? Okay, and the last one? Did she watch TV? Perfect. Vaya, sí, prácticamente el auxiliar lo que viene a hacer, sí, tanto en presente pasado, o en pasado, es indicarnos el tiempo. Pasado, si yo tengo el do, das, don't, doesn't, eso me indica que yo estoy hablando en presente. Sí. Pero si tengo lo que es el did o el didn't, eso me indica que estoy hablando en pasado. ¿Ok? Y en presente, como habíamos visto anteriormente o como ustedes ya estudiaron, el das, o el dasen se va a utilizar más que todo cuando estoy hablando de quiénes. En tercera persona. ¿Qué son? Sí. Y she and he, she is and it. it. And it. Ok, perfecto. ¿Está claro eso? Sí. No, lo que pasa es que yo empecé a más o menos why ah <laughs> uh, nothing okay <laughs> okay perfect perfect ¿Hay alguna pregunta o duda consulta con laboratorios que son presenciales entonces yo ya ya podía más o menos manejar las plataformas no nope. No, to sure. Okay, so we are going to continue. And before moving to the next video that it's on the platform, I need you to tell me how is everything doing on it. ¿Cómo van ustedes con la plataforma? ¿Van avanzando? ¿Han encontrado alguna dificultad? ¿Está todo bien? Todo bien. Ok. Como todas las parciales se Lo que pasa es que, eh, es, bueno, okay. vamos llenando la plataforma, pero muy poco se me queda. Ah, muy poco. Ok. Sí, porque la, la de, en oraciones de composición de oraciones, es eh, de, de ponerlas en su posición correcta y ahí es un poquito complicado. Ok. Pero ahí vamos. No, es que está programado. 
Okay, excellent. Thank you. And what about the others? ¿Y los demás? Vamos bien. Vamos bien? Perfecto. ¿No han tenido dificultad alguna? Con los ejercicios, ¿no? I will start tomorrow. Okay. Por un momento. Perfect. Okay, vaya, si llegasen a tener alguna dificultad, pues ya saben, ahí estamos pendientes, ¿verdad? No recuerdo quién fue que me escribió preguntándome de un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Va, pero sí, ahí estamos, cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? So, let's continue. We're going to watch the following video that we have there. That Teacher, is for, yes? a, a question. Uh, Los videos eh, de, de las clases no los sube usted al, al WhatsApp. No, eso se suben al canal de YouTube. Como otros grupos, este, los suben los teachers al WhatsApp y ahí vemos los videos. Ajá. El link va, permite. Ajá. Sí, porque en el correo no, que a ustedes no. se les envía, permítanme, se les da lo que es un enlace. Es como es como para retroalimentar en la clase. Ajá. Después de la clase valga la redundancia. Sí, permítanme, ¿dónde está? Acá está. Permítanme, déjenme ver dónde tengo eso. Teacher, pero ese solo es un paréntesis. Usted Ajá, continue. sí, sí, sí. <risa> yeah, don't Sorry. worry about it. Sí, no se preocupe. Es que okay. sí, generalmente lo que yo hago es que subo el video, pero al canal de YouTube. Y como en el correo a ustedes se les ha enviado, va, donde está el ID y todo eso, se les ha enviado un otro enlace que es del canal de YouTube en el que ustedes van a ver todos los videos. Vaya, en okay. dado caso, lo que yo puedo hacer es compartirles el, el link. O sea, media sí. vez que el video ya esté publicado, yo solo le daría a copiar al enlace y se los estaría compartiendo. Perfecto. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. <coughs> So let's continue. Um, so we have a, the following conversation that it is called I'm a real fitness, fitness freak. And we're going to listen. And then we're going to practice, okay? Probably not all of you, but some of you will be practicing, okay? So let's begin. <coughs> In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, so that's the conversation that we have. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, hold on. Here it is. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to need two people, two of you. Do I have volunteers? I agree. Okay, thank you, Janet. And who said me? Yes. And Jocelyn. Okay, and Jocelyn. So thank you, Janet and Jocelyn. Okay. And uh, Jocelyn, you're in great shape. Kate. Shape. Kate. Um, en este caso, como es Jocelyn, lo vamos a cambiar. You're in great shape, Jocelyn. Okay. You're in great oh. shape, Kate, Jocelyn. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. 
how often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Um, tennis, that sound like a lot of fun? Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Very well, I get, I guess. Uh, Janet, well, no, sorry. Just, ¿sí? Janet, usted va acá. Oh, well, I write, but I am not very good. Good boy. I will give you a few tips. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. So now, Janet and Jocelyn, choose another person. ¿Mm? Escojan a otro de sus compañeros o compañeras. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't know. <laughs> um, Giselle. Okay. Veronica. Okay, thank you. So we have Giselle and Veronica. What Veronica? <laughs> okay. Veronica Ramírez. Okay, uh, you are in great shape, Veronica. Thanks, I guess. I'm a really finished freak. freak. How often do you work out? <coughs> well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every, every week. Tennis? What sound like a lot of, of fun? Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I was. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few, a few tips. Okay, thank you. Um. Now you girls choose another person. Okay. Walter Rivera. Sandra Vasquez. Okay, so we have Sandra Vasquez and Walter Rivera. Okay. Sandra. You're in a great shape, Walter. Thanks. I guess I'm a really fitness freak. How often do you work out? <laughs> well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Okay, perfect. And the last two. Choose two people, please. Uh, Stephanie Pinto. Okay. Okay, Stephanie Pinto, choose another person, please. Um, Susan, no. Okay, Susan, thank you. So we have Stephanie and Susan. Okay. You're in red, Jay. Susan? Thanks. I was I really quick. How often do you work out? Wait, uh, I do Arabic. Uh, uh, I do Arabic twice a week, and I play tennis every week. 
tennis. That sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Hmm. How well do you play? Uh, really well, I was. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a five types. Okay, thank you. So an applause to all of you. Now it's time for feedback. Um, this is the one. Okay. So this is the conversation that we were just practicing. And my feedback is going to be basically in pronunciation. This word or this verb. ¿Cómo pronunciamos este verbo? Guess. 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 Okay. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Okay. Another thing. Uh, do you work? O sea, en inglés, lo que hacemos generalmente es unir palabras. Yo no digo work out. No lo digo separado, sino que las uno. Work, work, work out. out. Work out. Work out. Work out. Work out. Work out. Ok, sí, acá la K se une con la preposición que tenemos. No digo work out, sino que digo work out. Work out. Ok, ok. Then I have the following. Esta palabrita, ¿cómo la mencionamos? ¿Cómo la pronunciamos? Twice. 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 Ok, thank you. Twice. No es twice o twist, no. It is twice, twice a week a week perfect or twice a month twice a day twice a year y así sucesivamente okay um let me see another one this few 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 okay perfect and let me see another one quiero ver otra que Escuché que no pronunciaban muy bien. No, probably those were the only ones. Esas fueron las únicas que les logré identificar. Ok, do you have questions for vocabulary or everything is clear for you? No. No? No, it's good. Ok, perfect. Um, Vaya, si no hay más preguntas, ¿verdad? Nos quedaríamos hasta acá lo que es el día de ahora. Vaya, si en el transcurso del desarrollo de ejercicios en la plataforma ustedes tienen alguna duda o hay algún problema con algún ejercicio, pues me lo hacen saber. Así nosotros lo reportamos para que se solucione, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher. Ok, and if there are no more questions, we are going to stop here. And we will continue tomorrow. Okay. I see Thank you. you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You're welcome. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bless Good night. you. Good Bye. night. Likewise. Good night. Good night.